Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of The Wise Guy. You know me, The Wise Guy. I'm your host, Jim Tedesco. And the title of today's podcast is Get Out of Dodge. You'll find out what we mean after the break. Sit tight, The Wise Guy will return shortly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My God. The headline reads, Researchers, Dodgeball teaches children an unethical system of oppression. And this was written on June 4th. <laughs> Who are these people? Anyway, the story reads, The Canadian Society for the Study of Education at the Congress of the Humanities and Social Sciences has decided that dodgeball the gym class game and rite of passage for most elementary schoolers is not merely a somewhat dangerous schoolyard pastime. It is a tool designed to teach children an unethical system of oppression that legalizes bullying. And all this time I thought it was just a fun game to play. <laughs> Go figure. The game, of course, is a familiar one. Two teams usually self-selected a mildly embarrassing process. Race to take control of a set of large rubber balls that they then throw at the other team. Kids that get hit by the balls are out, and a winner is declared as soon as one team has been completely eliminated. I always thought it was a good game myself. In a totally serious, <laughs> in a totally serious article published in Canada's National Post, Researchers argue that social justice demands the complete and total elimination of dodgeball from the Canadian physical education curriculum. Less children grow up to understand they can wield their privilege the way they wield a rubber athletic ball. <laughs> oh my God. The game the group claims is miseducative. Is that even a word? and forces students to display hierarchies of privilege based on athletic skill. Even though the game is mostly just about throwing balls at, each, at other children. <laughs> yeah, I think in, in simple terms that means that the better athlete wins. <laughs> and yeah, we can't have that because you're not allowed to have losers anymore. Dodgeball is not just unhelpful to the development of kind and gentle children who will become decent citizens of a liberal democracy. Well, there you have it. It is actively harmful to this process. The researchers claim adding that the game at its, at its core is oppressive. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I thought the Cadians were stupid. Now I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, as we consider the potential of physical education to empower students by engaging them in critical and democratic practices, we conclude that the hidden curriculum offered by Dodgeball is antithetical to this project, even when it reflects the choices of the strongest and most agile students, the researchers claim. Ultimately, Dodgeball's hidden curriculum reinforces the five faces of oppression. They claim as it encourages the marginalization, powerlessness, and helplessness of those perceived as weak individuals through the exercise of violence and dominance by those who are considered more powerful. Part of the problem, apparently, is that unlike other nursery games and elementary school sports, Dodgeball puts the focus on other students. In order to succeed in the game, you have to target other kids and hit them with the ball. When you make humans the target, the researchers say you legalize bullying because most of the targets are smaller, weaker children. Now, let me tell you something. About, i got to interrupt this for a minute. I played dodgeball in, in, in grade school, and we actually didn't go for those small, weak kids. We went for the big kids. You wanted to take them out first and you had a better chance of winning. If you left the strong, bigger kids up, you were going to lose. So this is baloney. 
okay? <laughs> and we had a strategy to win. And I wasn't a big kid in school. I was one of the little weaker kids. At least I was perceived to be anyway. And, you know, I was a little faster than the big, bigger, stronger ones, which was, of course, beneficial on that. So what they're saying here is just total BS. Anyway, back to the reading. If you practice ganging up on people over time, you'll, you'll esteem ganging up on people. That doesn't even make sense. One team member told Canadian media, if that's what you want, then dodgeball is an excellent tool to that end. Dodgeball has been a target of social justice warriors before. Schools have been working for years to ban dodgeball from the physical education curriculum for reasons ranging from bullying to athletic capacity, even legal liability. And Utopia reports that dodgeball, though a much beloved memory for Gen Xers and older millennials, has little value for modern physical education teachers who want to focus more on developing social skills than showcasing athletic prowess. So in other words, <laughs> you, know, you see what they're doing here? And, and this is so obvious. They're trying to feminize everybody. They're afraid of boys that will become real men. Because real men are not pussies. <laughs> they will stand up for their beliefs and their rights. They will stand up for other people's beliefs and rights. You eliminate that and you're going to have a civilization of sissies. And which will be real easy to control for, you know, are socialist wannabes. And that's what this is about. They're trying to... Uh, what's the word for it? I can't think of the word now, but... They're trying to kill off the male species in, in, a, in a, um emotional sense. They don't want boys to turn into actual men. Well, you know what? We're going to anyway. At least some of us will. And God help you when we figure out what's really going on and can prove it. <laughs> Dodgeball will be the least of your problems. I mean, every day you see this stuff. Today it's dodgeball. Tomorrow will be what? Archery? You know, because shooting an arrow could be what? Teaching people how to kill? <laughs> Stealthily? I mean, come on. You know what? Kids do this stuff. They're games. They're fun. They don't see the, the so-called unwritten picture in it, you know. Dodgeball teaches bullying? On what planet? Only adults would come up with this, because kids aren't thinking, boy, I think I'm going to get up and go to school today and bully somebody with a dodgeball, because that's what I want to be when I grow up, a bully. Yeah, not going to happen, all right? Kids don't think that way. Kids going, hey, dodgeball, yeah, it's dangerous, but it's fun. Hopefully I won't get hit and thrown out, <laughs> you know? That's what they're thinking. They're not thinking anything else. And we you know what? The adults are so screwed up these days. You won't even call them adults. They're planting these ideas in children's minds. They're ruining our kids. Enough already. You know what? Our, our, what the hell is the word for it? Our civilization or our whatever was much better off back when things were dangerous. You know, 60, 70 years ago, we didn't have seat belts, we didn't have helmets, we didn't have this or that. And the kids were kids, kids played, they got hurt, they rebound, we, we move on. We need to go back to that. Boys were taught to be men. They were taught to be strong and agile, protectors of the lesser. Now we're all equally ridiculous. <laughs> At least that's what they'd have you believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Enough already. We got to stop this stuff. These 
social justice warriors. Ha! They're not social, there's no justice, and they're damn sure not warriors. <laughs> not at least not my, my, uh, I don't know, lack of words today. My definition of a warrior anyway. So with that in mind, you know, be a wise guy. It's good for you, and I'm out.